Hey guys, uh, I just thought this was kind of funny, so I'm going to throw it out there. I don't know how many of you Cowboys fans know about this, but DeMarcus Ware was talking in an interview or something like that about how he had 20 sacks last year and how he felt that he should have had six more because he remembered six times during last season where he had a guy sacked and then didn't make the tackle. Maybe he was going for the strip, maybe he just missed the tackle or whatever. So he thinks that he missed, should have had 26, which would have of course broken the record and just been probably good enough for the AP Defensive Player of the Year. So he went on to list the six sacks that he felt he missed, where you know he jumped on a guy's back and went for the ball but didn't get the sack or whatever. He said this, uh, here's the quote, I missed Campbell twice, McNabb twice, Roethlisberger once, and the San Francisco quarterback once. So the key point here is he didn't know the name of the 49ers quarterback. So Niners fans who seem to be back in Sean Hill a little bit because I know a lot of Niners fans are doing that. You know, DeMarcus Ware didn't know the name of your quarterback and he seems to be a pretty big student of the game. So that might be a bad sign. I'm, I'm just saying that if I would expect any pass rusher to know the name of every quarterback in the league, it'd be probably DeMarcus Ware. And he did not know the name of Sean Hill. So it might be something that's a little worrisome when you place your franchise hopes on the guy. Uh, anyway, other football news. We re-signed Leroy Hill, six years, like 46 million, 48 million, something like that. I'm happy because I didn't want to let him go because I felt like he would be a great hawk for a long time. I was a fan of him. He was always quietly doing his job there, whether it was rushing the pass or stopping the run, whatever we needed him to do in a particular game or a particular year. His rookie year, he was an excellent pass rusher. Since then, he's been working on his coverage and he's been very good against the run so glad we could have him and makes the Aaron Curry pick a little more confusing because now it's like why did we spend the number four pick on our third best linebacker but you know I think we're gonna all grow to like Aaron Curry we just need to give him time <coughs> I know a lot of Hawks fans are kinda still upset about that but you, we gotta see this guy play before we make any definite decisions so glad we re-signed Hill and we got our linebackers locked up for a while Lofa is under contract for the next five years Hill for now for the next six years and Curry's rookie deal will probably be like six years or something maybe five so it's gonna be good for the next half decade at least excited about that and really that's all I gotta say right now not a lot's going on in football again game seven Bulls Celtics tonight Expected referees for this game are going to be John Havlicek, Bill Russell, and Robert Parrish. Just uh, giving you guys a heads up about where that's going to go. <laughs> um, I'm just playing, but I think that the Celtics are going to get the calls in this game for obvious reasons. Just saying. Okay, I'm out.